Hi everyone, it's me B at Kelly Sunflower. So I'm on today to do an unboxing, flip through and first impressions of an Oracle deck that I forgot that I pre-ordered. So this Oracle deck is called the Galactic Guides Oracle. So it's written by Victoria Maxwell, illustrated by Ellie Grant and published by Rockpool Publishing. So I, I actually tried to unbox this deck a bit earlier on only to realise that I hadn't turned the camera on so that's why the plastic's off. So it comes in a nice lift off box. I, I like boxes where you can put your thumb here and lift it off. But let's have a look at the back of the box before we look at the cards. A fresh and empowering guide to divination working with galactic energy. The planets, zodiac signs and star systems take physical form in this fun and easy to use deck that brings the celestial bodies down to earth. Whether you're an astrology lover, a star seed or just starting out on your journey through the cosmos, your galactic guides will help you to shine as bright as the stars and fully step into your place and purpose in the universe. So it includes 36 cards and a guidebook. Okay, so let's lift this off. So inside the box is a star. You get a guidebook, which I will go through with you. You get like a, a sheet giving you information about where to download reading cards. And you get the deck, it's back of the cards. They're quite glossy and the sides have got holographic kind of silvery edges. So the book is 135 pages. So what I want to do first before I flip through the book is talk about the author and the illustrator. So this is the author here. Victoria Vix Maxwell is the creator of New Age Hipster, a spiritual home for good witches, light workers, star seeds, and spiritual seekers, a priestess for present times, modern mystic, and spiritual teacher in Converse sneakers. Vic supports her worldwide community in reconnecting with their own light, inner guidance, and power through personal soul readings, spiritual development classes, tarot and oracle card reading courses, kundalini yoga workshops, spiritual business mentoring, podcasts and award-winning blog and social media channels. Vix is the best-selling young adult fiction author of the Santosia Saga series and author of Witch Please, Empowerment and Enlightenment for Modern Mystics, Manifest Your Dreams and The Angels Among Us and Goddess Among Us Oracle Decks. And then it gives you her social media page about the illustrator. So this is the illustrator. Ellie Grant is an artist and illustrator from Sydney, Australia. She loves painting strong, magical women, often portraying them as warriors, aliens or goddess-like beings. Created in traditional and digital mediums, her artwork is colourful and otherworldly and celebrates the female form. Ellie has been painting her whole life and holds a Bachelor of Fine Arts, her style is inspired by sci-fi and fantasy art, pop culture, comic book art and mythology. She is the illustrator of the Angel Among Us and Goddess Among Us Oracle decks and has been featured in multiple gallery exhibits in Sydney. Her commissioned art hangs worldwide on people's walls. I and mean, again, it gives you her social media contact. So I think this deck was released today, which is the 1st of February in the UK. I don't know for other countries. I know sometimes other countries release decks at different points. And I love a deck that's got a nice, clear contents page. So it gives you an introduction. It tells you how to use the cards. And then it um, highlights the Galactic Guides Oracle cards. So it's got the Sun, Mercury, Venus, 
Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, New Moon, Full Moon, Dark Moon, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, and then it's got um, Alpha, Centauri, Cyrus, Pleiadus, Lyra. Excuse my tongue twisting, but there's there's other planets here as well. I'm mean, about the author and about the illustrator, which I've just read out to you. So let me say along the introduction. I'll read out, I'll read out the introduction. Galactic energies influence and affect you in so many ways, from the alignment of the planets and stars at your birth to the moon cycles and retrogrades. The heavens hold up a mirror for your experience on the earthly plane. As above, so below, understanding and working with celestial bodies is not always easy. And in ancient times, astrology was a lifelong study undertaken by a chosen few. Astrological information was shared with queens, kings and pharaohs, but the common people simply made do with looking up at the stars in awe, observing the phases of the moon, being wary during eclipses and admiring the morning or evening stars. Despite the wealth of information available to us now, it can be incredibly overwhelming for those without advanced diplomas in astrology to have a positive and empowering relationship with the stars. No matter how much or how little you know about astrology, you can work with the Cosmic Guides Oracle for guidance, support and spiritual healing. When I stopped focusing on what the planet's consultations and our star systems meant, according to different definitions and simply tuned in to their energy, I found I could connect with them on a deeper personal level and invite them to guide me through astrological seasons and moon cycles and to help me with what's happening here on the ground. The galactic guides have both a light and shadow side. They remind us that this is a, a universe of duality and that our shadow aspects are nothing to be afraid or ashamed of. We often look to the stars thinking that they are far away and wondering what they have to do with us. They have everything to do with us. We were made of stardust. In this oracle deck, we have, perf we have personified the heavens to help you get up close and personal with divine energy of the universe. Hopefully, what we've created will provide you with a portal to open up your communication with the universe that will guide you towards your own unique and powerful experience with the galactic guides. You are as fantastic, wondrous, awe-inspiring and magical as the stars with love and starlight, Vic. So it tells you how to use the cards. And it's got spread, so it's got a quick guidance spread. So it, it tells you the, the you know the card placements, celestial star, seven point star guardians, galactic cross. That looks very similar to a Celtic cross. cross. So it's got expanded card meanings. Then it talks about the galactic guides. So Let's look at the first card. It gives you a full colour illustrated picture of the card. It's numbered. I like cards that have got numbers because that way you can put it back in order when you've finished using it. Because I like my cards to be put back in order. Um, one of my card quirks. It gives you like a sense, some keywords. So vitality, life, force and energy. And then it's got the element which is fire. The chakra is the solar plexus. Crystal is citrine. Flower is sunflower and plant is lemon. Enjoy each and every moment of this precious life. Make every day count and live your life to the full. Let the light of the sun recharge your heart and spirit. How can you live more fully? How can you increase your life force energy? 
known to the ancient Egyptians as the sun god Ra, Helios to the ancient Greeks, and Lu to the ancient Celts, every ancient culture has revered and worshipped the life-given energy of the sun. In modern spirituality, the sun is seen as an expression of the divine masculine, a symbol of life, growth, joy, optimism and hope. The sun reminds us, no matter how tough things seem, there is always a promise that the sun will rise again. We so often take the sun for granted in modern life and are now disconnected from the natural cycles of sunrise and sunset. However, without the sun, there will be no life as we know it. So perhaps it is time we begin to worship the sun once more and remember its incredible cosmic power. So love, put your energy into your relationships. Don't put off saying how you feel and talking about what your heart do it now today. And then it talks about um, like money, purpose, service, spirituality, light work and shadow work. So that's really good. So it gives you quite a lot of interpretations for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven areas. I love the sun. It's the ruling planet for my zodiac sign, which is Leo. I was born on a Sunday. That's what my name means. And I, I just love the sun. I love its energy and everything. So each of the 36 cards is laid out in that way. So that's it for all the 36 cards. Which is really good. Okay, so let's have a look at the cards. These are the backs of the cards. As I said earlier, they've got nice... They look silver, but on the camera they kind of look um, holographic. So each card has a number, the name of the card, and some keywords. So, for example, the sun says vitality, love forces, and energy. I love oracle decks that give keywords because sometimes just one word means nothing to me. So I like that. It's like a man in his, like a modern kind of man in his thirties holding sunflowers. It's got the sun above his head as well. So. Mercury, communication, swiftness, agility, and travel. Venus, this is my granddaughter's name. <laughs> Love, beauty, sensuality, and pleasure. Earth, grounding, recommendations, home, guardianship. And this archetype looks so grounded. Mars. Assertion, us, passion. I love that they put a mature person for Jupiter. And I, I like it when cards show a diverse age range as well, because a lot of the modern decks tend to kind of show younger people. And being in my crone years, I love to see people of a certain age in my cards. So expansion, lack, wisdom and teaching. Saturn, discipline, maturity, structure, and leadership. Uranus, revolution, rebellion, eccentricity, and progress. Neptune, depths, dreams, illusion, imagination. Pluto, revelation, transformation, death, rebirth, liberation. New moon, new beginnings, intention, manifestation, or oh got a tongue twisted there, manifestation and hope. Fertility, it's got very empress kind of tarot card vibes. Fertility, gratitude, abundance, divine feminine. Dark moon, endings, experience, integration and advice. Aries, commitment, competitiveness, courage and fearlessness. Taurus, oh this person's got a very Taurus face. 
material world, stability and luxury. Gemini, versatility, self-expression and curiosity. Cancer, nourishment, self-protection, intuition. I'm loving the keywords. Leo, big-heartedness, fierceness and boldness. Virgo, practicality, patience, organisation and detail. Libra, diplomacy, balance, harmony and compromise. Scorpio, magic, sexuality, intensity and secrecy. Sagittarius, adventure, independence, flexibility, free-spiritedness. Capricorn, ambition, resilience, authenticity and determination. Aquarius, uniqueness, idealism, vision, activism. Pisces, sensitivity, psychic awareness, symbols and signs. Alpha Centauri, protection, logic, analysis, warrior spirit. Cyrus, knowledge, training, wisdom, keeping wisdom, teaching. I can't pronounce some of these words, sorry. But it's got here healing, compassion, understanding and peace. Lyra. Confidence, purpose, potential and fulfilment. She looks very Leo. Spiral path, higher light, deeper love. Personal development, soul growth, breath work, light, colds. Grace, charisma, challenges, judgment, Ascension. Vega. Lumin luminosity, creativity, talent and fame. Mintaka. Nostalgia, belonging, community. Strong will, pioneer, forward thinking, change making. Grace, divinity. Elevated conf consciousness and royalty. Wow, I'm loving it. So let's give the cards a shuffle and then I'll let you know of my first impressions on how I intend to use this deck. So they shuffle really nice. They kind of glide together. And because there's not a lot, a lot of cards, I'm sure that a riffle shuffler and a good shuffler would also enjoy shuffling this deck so i ordered this deck because i get into astrology but i wanted to do it kind of like as basic as possible i don't want to read loads and loads of books because for a living I, I do a lot of research and i have to go through a lot of information and i don't like doing that in things that i find pleasurable i'm probably also going to use this deck for daily pulls I'm going to read the guidebook because it's only 135 pages, so that's going to be quite quick to read. It's not a big guidebook. And also, because it's got like the Zodiac cards, I, I, I can use these for significator cards in tarot read, readings. This deck would also be good to round off a reading. So that's how I intend to use this deck for daily pulls. Significator cards and just basically to learn about the cosmic star seeds astrology. You know, I think it'd be a very basic way to kind of learn astrology. So that's why I bought these cards. So I will leave a link in the description bar for anyone that's interested in purchasing this deck. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.